Assembling the Kitchen Island base cabinet, we cut on the CNC machine. I'm using Titebond 3 wood glue here for its water resistance, if this were to ever get wet, and longer open time to allow me to get everything fully assembled. We used pocket holes throughout the assembly and drove those in using the fine 12 volt drill. I see a lot of people using impacts in situations like these, but I personally am a huge fan of using a drill to install screws. A drill allows you a lot more control over how far the screw is driven in by setting the clutch on the drill. This keeps you from overdriving and stripping out the screws, which is very easy to do with an impact. The last piece to add was the bottom panel as we are assembling this upside down. We have a lot more to do on this cabinet to get it ready to go, but we'll get to that on the next video. All of the tools used in this video are available on our website. Be sure to check it out there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Have a great day, everyone.